Our team of researchers at the Suncat Center for Interface Science and Catalysis at Stanford University have developed a new strategy to produce ammonia via an electrochemical cycling process, which uses only nitrogen and water at atmospheric pressure. Nitrogen fixation to produce ammonia fertilizer is currently achieved via the Haber-Bosch process, which has become so vast and vital that it uses over 1% of our entire global energy supply, and about 75% of the nitrogen in our bodies now comes from this process. It is also responsible for about 450 million metric tons of CO2 emissions annually. An enticing approach would be to renewably and sustainably produce ammonia in on-site aqueous electrochemical nitrogen reduction for crops to use as needed without wasteful application and distribution costs. However, efficiency for this approach is often below 1% as the nitrogen reduction reaction is dominated by the hydrogen evolution reaction. In our new approach, we have developed an electrochemical cycle to circumvent the hydrogen evolution reaction entirely. In the first step, we electrolyze lithium hydroxide to produce lithium metal as an active surface. We then use the lithium metal to break the strong molecular nitrogen triple bond, forming lithium nitride in step 2. Finally, in step 3, we introduce water, our proton source, to hydrolyze the lithium nitride, reforming our lithium hydroxide, and producing ammonia at an observed efficiency of almost 90%. An important advantage of this cyclic process compared to the direct electrochemical route is that it physically and temporally separates the activation of nitrogen from subsequent protonation steps. This avoids unwanted thermodynamic sinks such as lithium hydride and allows for much better selectivity towards ammonia. There are two properties that make lithium an effective material for this process. First, lithium surfaces bind nitrogen very strongly and can easily activate the NN triple bond. Second, there are low barriers for the diffusion of nitrogen and metal vacancies through the nitriding lattice. These two properties allow for the spontaneous formation of lithium nitride at low temperatures. While this process requires significant electrical energy, it can utilize renewable electricity as costs continue to plummet, and it would mitigate the carbon emissions of traditional ammonia production. Thus, we are very excited about the prospects of this work and hope it inspires further research. Thank you for watching this SunCat Research Highlight, and have a great day.